Okay, welcome back to our Stream Geeks online course for live streaming video production graphics. We've already taken a look at OBS, so you can get a feel for how to do some free graphics and production. We've looked at vMix and live streaming there and some of their more advanced packages. And now we're going to sit down and look at a dedicated graphic and video production software called New Blue FX. New Blue FX is all about graphics, so it's a great place for us to sit down and see what's possible with some of the most advanced graphics and templates. So, without further ado, we're going to get started. I'm going to give you guys a link to get a free 60-day trial of New Blue FX so you can follow along at no cost and see if it's right for you. Let's get started. Hey everybody, if you're watching this video on YouTube, I just wanted to remind you to hit the red subscribe button. It really helps us out and encourages us to keep making video courses like this. So hit the like button and hit the red subscribe button. Thanks. So here is New Blue FX Titler Live. And what we're gonna do is create our first project and add a ready-made graphic. And we'll build off of this by editing the graphics in our next video, controlling everything with a stream deck in the upcoming video, and then integrating control and data integration into Google Sheets and displaying social media comments. So this is gonna be really fun. What we're gonna do, it's always best practice to go ahead and start a new project. And um, you know, basically, once we start the new project, we on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see your preview monitor. And on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see the program monitor. The program monitor will showcase what you are sending live to the video software. So in other words, this is your output. Title or live graphics can be sent via NDI, HDMI, a virtual webcam, or even directly into OBS. So we can adjust the output method by either clicking the drop down tab in the bottom right hand corner of the program monitor screen, which is right here. Those are all of our different outputs. Or we can use the video output tab in the top left portion of your screen as well. So we've got a lot of different options for controlling how we get the output of this software to whether we're using OBS or Wirecaster, vMix or a TriCaster. And one of the things I like about using New Blue Effects is because it separates the, the, um, you know, the tool, the job of providing graphics into the system if you have a secondary switcher. So in this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and we're going to output NDI. And we will output NDI to a just a studio monitor for right now. And studio monitor is a free NDI tool. You can see right here. It's uh, you can download it for free at ndi.tv and it will basically represent any basically software that works with NDI. So this is how we're going to end. It's a black screen right now. We'll, we'll look at that in a moment. Now, occupying the left, the bottom left portion of your screen, you'll see the graphics library, which contains folders, each housing content tailor made for various video production use cases. We can double click any folder that we feel is most appropriate for our video production. And for this demonstration, let's go ahead and click on the House of Worship folder. All right. So upon opening the folder, we're presented with three more folders housing the different themes. We've got an Ambry, an Everlasting, and a Glory. And let's go ahead and click the Glory theme. Now, as you can see, there are some templates for covering a typical sermon sequence here. So we can kind of go through these and take a peek at what these do. We can see all the different ones here. And if we hold our mouse over it, then we'll preview it. Or we can click and drag it onto the layer list to use that design. So the first graphic we'll add is the full screen overlay for church members to see as they enter the church. And we may provide some more details about the upcoming event. So here is the church sermon. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click it and drag it onto a layer. So now we've got it here and we can start editing it. So to add to the Glory Sermon graphic, all we got to do is drag it into channel one 
and we can click and drag the remaining graphics we need for the sermon into this as well. So if we'd like to have a social media comment, for example, we can also add this in here. And then as we toggle between them, these are the ones that we are selecting. Now, let's go ahead and just basically edit this text. And you can see here it's all editable in the layer properties on the right. So for my church, which is First Press by Tyrion. Looks like it's going off the side a little bit, so we'll actually just do first like that. Press by Tyrion. West Chester. PA. And so it gives you the obviously the ability to completely customize everything, including have a picture of your pastor, for example. So we can go through all of this stuff and customize it. And as you can see, you know, this full screen overlay is, is a really good one. Um, and we can also choose others to go over, for example, a social media comment. Now we'll be covering social media in the future. But for now, one of the things I want to show very simply is we can click the plus button to add that to air. And when we do that, the plus button will output via NDI to our software. Now we can also output via a virtual webcam as well. So we have multiple different options for outputting. So as you can see here, whatever we play on the NDI output will be sent to NDI. So that could be Wirecast, vMix, whatever software you're using, a TriCaster over the network, even to another computer. And as we said, we can also output a virtual webcam. So we can actually output directly to Zoom or Wirecast or any software that creates a webcam. Now this is just a very basic overview, so we're not going to go into every piece of this. But for example, let's take, take another one here, and we can go ahead and show a verse of text. And there we go. Now you can see that each layer is on top of each other, so if we have two on top of each other, obviously that's something we kind of want to avoid. So you kinda, that's why you have your preview and your output, so you can kind of decide, okay, We'll click the plus button, we'll take that off screen. So we'll do a full screen here, leave that up for as long as we want, come down. And this would be obviously on top, this would be a second layer on top of whatever video is the camera or the output. So I hope that was a helpful overview of how to get started with new blue effects, creating your project, adding a few layers and customizing them. Now we're going to go ahead and start customizing your own graphics in the next video and really learning how to create an awesome graphics template for your next live stream. I'll see you in the next video.